Who is Vyacheslav Datsik? Well, simply put, he's a clinically insane, cage-fighting, armed-robbing, brothel-raiding, carjacking, schizophrenic ex-convict. Oh, and a neo-Nazi as well. Datsik began his mixed martial arts career in 1999 and made his professional debut against Andrei the Pitbull Arlovsky, who was also making his pro debut at the time. Surprisingly, Datsik won the fight via an impressive KO. Whoa! Arlovsky is out! The fight is over! Datsik was known for his unpredictable and unorthodox style, employing a wide variety of kicks, flips, and spinning shit. Known also by the nickname Red Tarzan, Dadsik has been disqualified several times throughout his MMA career, one time for grabbing his opponent's testicles. And once for showing off too much. Datsik hasn't fought since 2006 and has a record of six wins and nine losses. In 2007, he was incarcerated for committing multiple armed robberies in St. Petersburg, Russia, and shortly after was transferred to a mental institution for obvious reasons. Soon after being institutionalized and diagnosed with schizophrenia, Datsik escaped the mental facility after ripping open a cage link fence with his bare hands and crossed the border to Norway to seek political asylum. A former Russian martial arts fighter with a history of violence and extremism has turned up in Norway after simply walking out of a psychiatric ward last month. Norway, not wanting anything to do with this crazy bastard, returned him back to Russia to serve the remainder of his sentence in Krasnoyarsk prison. Datsik supposedly went on a hunger strike for several weeks to protest the conditions of the prison, although it didn't seem to have much effect. While serving his time, Datsik expressed interest in working in the legal field, specifically as a public defender. As his mother stated, he plans to become a human rights activist. To do this, he must first finish law school. Vyacheslav is engaged in the protection of the rights of prisoners and wishes to become a paralegal. Counselor Datsik was released in 2016 after being incarcerated for over nine years and has announced plans to return to mixed martial arts. Before returning to the cage, Datsik has been hard at work cleaning up the mean streets of Russia working as a vigilante. Datsik, along with Kingpin, have been raiding brothels in the Petrograd region of St. Petersburg, stripping women of their clothes and forcing them to walk naked through the streets, Game of Thrones style. Shame. 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 Datsik and company have made numerous citizens' arrests since being released from prison, going from brothel to brothel attacking women, apparently with little to no consequences from the Russian government. It, which is strange, considering Russia's reputation of being a symbol of peace, justice, and morality in the world. <laughs> Datsik was taken into custody once again after blocking a road being used by Turkish construction trucks, stealing their keys and throwing them into the woods. Datsik reportedly threw dozens of sets of keys into the woods while shouting anti-Turkish epithets at drivers to protest the company's use of Russian resources. Datsik was taken into custody after the incident, but was released later that day. While preventing the Turkish workers from earning a living and stripping foreign sex workers of their clothes, Datsik remained steady on his vow to fight for civil rights. <laughs> but out of all the crazy shenanigans Datsik has gotten himself into, he can be praised for one thing, his amazing penmanship. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.